But well, welcome back to OU Nightly. Thanks for joining us. Campus looking dreary and wet. Luckily, some students walking back from class. It's no longer raining on them anymore. We're sitting in the lower 60s. Our dew point is at 59, so it is pretty moist outside. Even some mist falling from the sky. And looking across the state, current temperatures, we're seeing 60s. Even some upper 60s pushing 70s near Miami. And out in Guyman, they're out behind that dry land. They're pushing 80s out there. And those wind gusts sitting about 20 to 25 miles an hour. And like I said, that wire behind that dry line sitting in the 40s for wind gusts. Now, we're going to talk about that severe weather outlook going into tonight. It is a marginal risk. It's a bit lower than we've seen because we do have a cap in place. I'll explain what that is coming up here. But that risk uh, goes from all the way down to Lawton, even northern central Texas, and all the way up towards Miami. Uh, but looking at satellite, we do see a lot of clouds out in the sky, but you see the storms that were off towards our east that rolled through Norman. You can see them popping up on that satellite. So what exactly is a cap? So basically a cap is a warmer layer above a cooler layer. So we have a cooler layer at the surface and a warmer layer, a warmer layer aloft. And that warmer air, you know, warm air rises, cold air sinks. So that air is not being able to be pushed up and create storms. The only way that we can really break this, well, there's several ways to break this, but one we were looking for today was warming the surface where you warm that layer below to equal, equal or even greater that temperature aloft. And that, would be, that was how uh, storms would be able to initiate. We haven't quite seen that just yet today. That's why storms are not severe just yet. But going into tonight, we're sitting at 63 by 4 p.m. We're going to even warm up going into midnight, 66 winds out of the south. That's, when it, that's what's going to warm us up, 22 miles an hour. Now looking at low tonight, mild, a mild night tonight here, 60s across the state, some 50s out in Elk City, and Guymon once again, the outlier sitting at 41. They're sitting about normal. Winds out of the southwest at 25 miles an hour. And then highs tomorrow, looking beautiful. We're clearing out, 70s across the state, 71 in Elk City, and then Guymon, like I said, 66 degrees. But going into Friday, we are gonna have a fire weather risk. Here comes that dry line from the west. It's eastbound and down. These are, this is our relative humidity. We're sitting at about 23% here in Norman, and our winds are going to be kicking. So we're going to have, if something, if you throw a match on the, throw a cigarette out of your car and it goes in the grass, it's going to catch and it's going to fly. So it, we're at an extreme risk for part of the state, especially out in western Oklahoma. And then, like I said, going into Saturday, we're, so we're still dry as well, so there is a risk Saturday into Sunday. And then by the time we get into Sunday, we're getting a little, little wetter, a little more moist. And because of that, we do have a fire weather warning covering, covering much of the state. And that is going to be in Norman until about 10 p.m. tomorrow. And then going into Friday as well, we still have a severe weather outlook. Much of Oklahoma kind of missing out on it, except for far, far southeastern Oklahoma. We're looking at Ida Bell. And northeastern Arkansas and southeastern Iowa, they're seeing some severe weather and all modes are possible. So we expect something serious going into tomorrow. So looking at our air mass forecast here, there's that first cold front that rolls through Saturday. It's coming through. And then it's going to be a pretty active pattern. Here comes our next storm system with a tailing cold front. That's Tuesday. We're going to, we were going to be sitting in the 80s, and we're going to cool down into the 60s because of that. And then later on to next Thursday, there's our next weather maker next Thursday. Now our seven-day forecast, 70s. There's that chance of rain Friday morning overnight. We're looking at 70s next week. Like I said, 80s. And then by Wednesday, we're back into the 60s. Parker, Bailey, back to you.